the Bulldodge Power Rankings. I'm sorry to inform you, but Cowboy Ryan's hanging out the ranch with his friend Stephen Cassidy. My name's Normal Ryan Heydrich, and this week I'm joined with Mustache Kaz. Sorry, I was just using my Mustache Mirror app. Uh, today we're presented by Epic Lacrosse. Make sure to check them out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Epic Lax and on Twitter at Epic Lax. Yeah, so every week we tell you that it's our favorite time of the week to do power rankings, which means by this time it has to be your favorite time of the week. So, Casimir, let's get into it. Yeah, you know, CSU jumps up to number one again with a big statement win over BYU. Yeah, at number two, Colorado falls there, but they refuse to lose. And at number three, ASU comes in. You know, they're on an eight-game winning streak with wins over uh, BYU and Santa Barbara. Yeah, BYU drops to number five. They got kind of humbled after their great California trip. They dropped uh, two games in a row to both Colorado schools. Yeah, and coming in at number seven is uh, Sonoma State. You know, they're coming off a big win over Stanford, and they uh, wrap up their season this weekend with games, uh, over, er, games with Cal Poly and Santa Barbara. Yeah, speaking of Stanford, they dropped to number nine. You know, they, they started the, the year 10-0, and 0 and they dropped their last two. They need to get back on track, and they have three WCL games in a row to do that. Yeah, and rounding out our top ten is Boston College. You know, they're undefeated with uh, their last two wins coming over New Hampshire and UConn. Well, hold up, because we got bonus coverage, MCLA Division Two. Casimir, bam, hit him with it. That's right. St. Thomas comes in at number one. You know, the Tommies just beat St. John's, and that was a really big win for them. Yeah, number two, we have Westminster. They're coming off a big win. At home against Concordia and the Griffins, they're Griffinin. Yeah, and at number three we got St. John's. You know they just uh, came off that win or loss over St. Um, with St. Thomas. You know it was a, kind of a tough loss for them, but you know the Tommies are a good team, so so hopefully St. John's will bounce back. I'm sure they will. And at number four we have Concordia. The Eagles down there in Irvine have one of the best offenses in MCLA Division Two, and if they can figure it out in the defensive end, they're a team to be wa to watch out for. You know, speaking of offense, Palm Beach Atlantic, have you seen Dominic Scalzo's stats? Seven points a game. Woo-wee. Yeah, that's why they're at number five. And that was our power rankings. We hope you enjoyed them, and we'll see you next time. Make sure to check out our other videos.